this is the fun part of this project. Taking all the stuff out. <laughs> and they got one, maybe two out there. And three, four. This is what it looks like behind here if you're ever curious. This stuff falls back. That's why you want to have a good lid on top. All that. All these supply lines are 10, 12 years, 12 years old, so they'll all get taken out and thrown away. This is the for the top loaders. And see, that's why we had these pump drains because it was top loaders. Now, what we're going to do is run a new pipe. You can see it down there, way down there. It's going to run all the way back to here and hook up these big guys. Honestly, I should wear these clothes to Vegas. That's sure, everybody. See, we're trying to unhook all this mess. I mean, it's just, these are old school hookups. That one, one wouldn't turn. So now what I gotta do is get these off. The reason I'm taking them off is because, the reason I'm taking them off is because they're wore out. When you change out machines, it's kind of a rule of thumb. If they're old enough, you need to get rid of the supply lines because they could burst on you. And next thing you know, you got water everywhere. So it's time for this stuff to go. The main lines though, in here, is all good. It's just the supply lines are bad. This is why I hire people. It smells great. Smells like love. Love. <laughs> <laughs> you can carry it sideways too. That one. Too. Is that a strap? Might help you. Try using that. Yeah, but it, it ain't really hard once you get it to going. Oh. So let it just take. Never mind. Let's have the way. Don't do it. It's not hard. Guess I'll pop. You gotta take all that up too. Yeah. This is gonna be the easy part. It's all rotted. It stinks. I'm hoping that those washers that stink. That's what it is. As I say, I already took a bath for the week. You're not missing any fun here, I'm telling you that right now. There's two days that a laundromat owner is happy. When they buy a Horizon, and when they junk a Horizon. The day you junk it, the day you blow it up, hit it with an excavator, bury it in a hole, take it to the scrapper. Those are junk. They're junk washers. I know, I know. Gonna have people on this channel, they're gonna go, Keenan, you just don't know how to work on them. You just don't know how to use them. They are the worst piece of crap that Speed Queen ever, ever, ever made. And if Speed Queen ever watched my videos, they would know to stop making this washer. They are hurting their reputation with this POS. Hard mounts, top loaders. Get rid of the horizons, folks. Just a box back in the quarters, guys. This turns into quarters here somehow. Just a quarter. Oh, 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 sucky. There's a quarter, guys. I got 50 cents. I can't believe I'm digging through this. Brandon, I found a quarter. I'm going to take that to Vegas and give it to him. It's all about collecting quarters, people. That's all it is. I'll show you what it looks like after we. This is what it looks like after about. That's not quite 12 years. Every about four or five years I pulled machines, I pulled the top loaders out, and I cleaned this. But that's what it looks like. You know, there's bare concrete, which is nice. They have two 60s. The rest of those will be those hard mount 20s. We still got to pull these three out because it'll be new 20s going there. Those are old 20s. I'll take those to one of my other laundromats and use for parts. I'll throw away the carcasses once I'm done. But yeah, that's what your uh, bulkhead looks like back in the day. That's an old bulkhead from like the 50s, maybe 60s. And it's still holding up pretty good. And there's a floor drain right in the center. It all slopes towards it, for, thank God. But yeah, so old cast iron. Never so often you have to rotor root or that because it's all dirty. And your breakers and your outlets. This is back when they did just top loaders. So they weren't too worried about power. These are all 20 amp breakers. So, so it looks like it's just quarters. That's it. So well, we're taking out the last of the washers here so they can come install bases. They're not here yet, which is pretty typical of my dealer. Uh, they uh, say they'll show up first thing and that's usually the next day or day after. It's pretty typical. Fun fact, this morning we had a dryer fire on the way here. Uh, the laundromat I built, dryer caught on fire. Guy put clothes in too long and it burnt. So didn't do a lot of damage. I get some video footage of it, but 
just part of being in the laundromats, man. It's never a dull moment. I should have got video because when I first rolled up, there was smoke billowing out of the building. I mean, it looked, it looked bad. I thought the whole thing was on fire, but it was all just this one dryer. That's it. So I got to finish unbolting these two, and they're going to come take them out. Take a machine off. Once you unbolt it, you want to put a pipe on your dolly. Get you set up here where you can see. Right, Willie? Mm -hmm. and Willie holds it. I just tip the machine just a little bit. It'll roll forward. There you go. That's it. Yeah, pull your way and then go this way. Yeah, go whatever way you want, but just gotta go that way first. See with that pipe in there, that PVC pipe, you're not fighting it so bad. And then what you can do is put two two by fours under it, you roll it off kind of the same way, you tip it up, you pull your pipe out, and you bring your cart back. Now we can watch Willie use his famous hand cart. He loves a pallet jack, I'm telling you. Already. Don't you? Yeah. Willie. I'm gonna pull it out. No, we're, we're watching. It ain't going nowhere. It ain't gonna fall off. Just don't go up the ramp by yourself. I'm gonna have to go this way. This poor camera's already getting dirty, Willie. This way. Yeah. Oh, oh he made a turn. Oh, he's getting, about to hit that. You're getting slick, bud. Oh, hey, we got to put him up there. Okay. No, we're not going to get the back. No, we're not going to bother them by watching them. They'll, we don't want to make them nervous. we got to take out one more bolt back here. The back bolts are the worst, and I didn't put any middles in. But that bolt there's the last one then this base then this one comes out then we're just sitting here like prom date waiting for our date to show up which is our dealer so i don't know i think they got lost or they're eating donuts somewhere or having breakfast so let's go i'm gonna give you the top down view This one, wrong wrench can. You gotta break them free first or you'll fight them forever. There we go. I don't know if I can do it with this wrench. Last bolt. Perfect. Oh. See, aren't you glad you got to experience that? Whew. That's all done. Let's grab a wrenches. I usually forget them back here. Put them up here. I hope all your days going a lot better than mine. Considering I have a dryer fire, laundromat shut down, and now we're doing this. This was an emergency repair. These pipes—they're actually—they're actually going to go away here soon. I'm debating about putting them on the floor. Side. 
I like these little ones. They're not as hard. Yeah, they're not bad. There we go. Now I don't have to do that. I don't have to test these. No. There you go. I can go with you. Adios, amigo. And that's that. Now that's that. Now all we gotta do is get the other four bases installed and the two 60 pound bases and hopefully the next day or so they can put the washers in. Hope you enjoyed this day because I hope I never repeat this day again. I, I rolling up and seeing your laundromat on fire with smoke coming out of it. I should have got the camera out right away, but I was like, I didn't want to. The firefighters and the police out there, I didn't want to film all of it. This is one thing you got to realize when you have equipment dealers. They try to jam pack so much work into a day, they overestimate what their guys can do in a day. So don't be shocked if they call you and say, hey, look, we're not coming. It's fine with me. I'm not in a big hurry, but I race to get this done. And like, if they don't install them, it's like, why did I do that? I have all this other stuff going on. I didn't need to be here taking that out, but it's just part of the deal. Sorry, I thought they were here. Just part of the deal, they're supposedly still coming. They're gonna lay the bases down here. They're not gonna install them, so I'm not gonna be able to show you any footage. I won't be able to videotape them installing the bases. I was hoping to get that footage because a lot of people ask me, how do you install these bases? And it's actually really simple. And I figured this would be an easy way to get a video and someone else's can show you. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, just don't get down because that happens to all of us. <laughs> like I said, the dealers, they're so busy trying to make sure every minute of the day they're making money, they overschedule their guys. Seen it every time. So, so, anyway, take it easy.